Tokea tukuone, tokea tukuone so ifam. Brian Okello ni aje? Fiti sana bro, kwa salama. Ya yeah, niko sawa. Sijika mike yangu ndio iko iko low ama yako ndio iko high as hell. Oh really? Yes. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, unza try ku reduce yako kidogo. Yeah, just a bit. Yeah, tu check in aje. Alafu unasemaje leo? Niko fresh, niko fresh sana sina neno. Yeah, Unajua yeah. history yako ya kuwetest sijawa ilianza wapi ama unaweza tu pea recap kiasi tu. Um, okay, 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 okay. Um a lot of st- stuff yangu inakuwa tied to rap, eh? Okay. And um so mwambie gatu nilianza kusikiza rap like around like passionately around 96 cause of Adole. Um yes. kuna demo inaitwa Lil Kim alikuwa anabonga vile kunini and then now the more I started to listen to it I eventually I found myself listening to the more conscious rappers so okay. around the year 2000 an album came out album inaitwa Let's Get Free ya yeah, sana so inaitwa Dead Prez alafu yeah, Dead, Dead Prez mm-hmm. yeah, Dead Prez anakuwa gana some very interesting religion quotes eh? yeah. um let me try and see so this used to make cuz now the first time I had this like i'm um, i'm still religious najua and i'm hearing this guy say like ni fuck ilikuwa ni fuck your bible get on your knees and praise my rifle so there was that and i'd be there like my heart is beating kuna ngoma inaitwa assassination so kwa assassination kuna mtu anasema gaivo and he yeah. fuck the bible get on your knees and praise my rifle your life is done in another place okay so that one him sanitwa m1 Alafu, yes. apart from M1 there's another person called Stickman. Stickman says something like a uh, man made god out of ignorance and fear. Who a man made god out of ignorance mm-hmm. and fear. So this these people now they put the the that seed of like how can these people talk about god like this and not get hit by lightning and whatever so yeah, i'm there yeah. wondering like why would you question cuz it time out of course i'm a believer and uh, still as a believer so you are, it takes faith eh? exactly yeah. you just have to believe you can't yeah. question so yeah. these are the first people that i ever had questioned religion and then from that now uh still i'm listening to rap and then funnily enough my interest in just the universe and things became more uh now i wanted to understand things that i've learned in school that i didn't understand at the time like we took our evolution i wanted to understand them more i wanted to understand the big bang theory more mm-hmm. and with all these things and then um discovered that also your time sasa now critical thinking made me think like when we look at god for example god is very geographical So it means where you are born is going to determine which god you worship. So if you are born in northeastern you're going to be a muslim. If you are born in uh Nyanza, nine times out of ten, you're going to be a christian, mm-hmm. And uh whatever your parent uh, your parent uh, believes in is what you're going to believe in. So eh hey, what anikukotie um sanaitwa uh anaitwa stickman. So stickman and some man I believe man made God out of ignorance and fear because if God made man uh, made man then why the hell would he put us here I thought he's supposed to be the all loving the same God who let Hitler put the Jews in their ovens so of course american um accent loving and ovens yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. rhymes that right, rhymes yeah. so yeah. yeah yeah so that's 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 what put the seed in me and then now I started looking at it now in ka study history uh, for example christianity in nyanza ilifikaga nyanza Uh, around 1905 yes mm-hmm. so it be that means that if i was to go to my uh, um was my grand home. yes yes my grandfather was kuna grandfather angle kuna itwa ndong ndong was born in 1902 sindio mm-hmm. so when ndong was three years old that's when christianity showed up that means that ndong's father was not a christian sindio of course and yes. now critical thinking also tells you sawa If Jesus died 1900 years ago, yes? Mm-hmm. Uh by that time, it means it took 1900 years for this message to reach my people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh don't forget God 
is everywhere. If someone is everywhere, would it take 1900 years for his message to reach? His message would have reached in one way or another. So that's how I was able to nini. And then uh, just logic in a kuonyesha prayer, you'll pray for something, not, nothing happens. Uh, people are like, God is mysterious. If you pray and it happens, it's like we credit God. If an accident happens, someone survives, they praise God. If an accident happens, uh, people die, no one brings up God. So kuna kuogana hizo like elements. So yeah, that's how I ended up finding myself outside religion. And yeah, then of yeah. course now, with time, I've come to understand evolution. I've come to understand yeah, the yeah, Big Bang Theory. Yeah, yeah. Evolution, Mwambiaga said, the easiest way to understand evolution is to check. Every animal has a relative. Like, that's the easiest thing. Unangalia, even on humans, just because not to chimpanzees, not to monkeys, to end up now. Ukiangalia lion, kuna lion, kuna leopard, kuna panther, alafu chini yake, kuna utu tupaka tuetu. Ukiangalia doggies, kuna wolves. Yeah. Kuna crocodile kuna ni crocodile na nini na alligator, alligator. Mm-hmm. yeah there's always an animal that looks like another and then do you know the most interesting thing in you know, the first person to bring up the theory of evolution like darwin look was a muslim scholar and this was back in the back in the days because mm-hmm. this muslim scholar was there like these animals of course he was crediting god yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. for it but he was saying like these animals look so close to each other that they have to be like um anini yes Related yes al gona ito al jahiz al jahiz was the originator of the idea of evolution through his famous uh-huh. work kitab al hayawan the book uh-huh. of animals yes uh-huh. yes so this was pre darwinian muslim scholars cuz she's here like islam the fact that we even use numbers no these numbers not me again arabic numbers eh these yeah numbers yeah 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 of course yes yeah Yes, yes, because Baghdad was known as the, at Baghdad used to be the headquarters of education. So people would just yeah. show up and they discuss ideas and what and what and what. But of course now when it turned into uh, a, a religious state, now that's when now... A lot of scholars. Were, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but the numbers we use are Arabic numbers. And yeah. So yeah, that's basically how I lost religion in a very short span. Okay, mm. I'm sense. assuming we are religious. Yeah, I mean uko religious kama kawa. Uh, yeah, uko religious kwa nini? Acha nisikie. I can't I can't even explain it and make sense to anybody. Just yeah. the thing. Okay. I'm religious. Yeah. Was brought up I was actually lilizaliwa as a Catholic. Nikakuwa baptized okay. as a Catholic. Yes. And then mm. uh, nikakuwa raised up by uh, someone who was an Anglican through and through. So yeah, yeah. formative years up on the Anglican church and then mm. we moved to Kenda Shags. Kenda Shags, that was how the vitus will change the kakwa crazy a little bit. Unajua easy religion zilikuwa zime sprout from the Catholic church, the African religion, this is Angoma easy. Mm, mm. Eh, apo sasa ndio niliingia hapo mbaya sana. But sasa unajua this particular point ulikuwa unapelekwa na na mzazi or the adult who is in charge of hiyo wakati. So yeah, nikaingia yeah. hapo kiasi. Eh, kwenda seko nikaenda high school it was a catholic church. So nikarudi tena catholic kwa sababu ilikuwa mandatory kwenda mass na vitu kama hizo. Oh, okay. Yes, okay. yes. And then hiyo time kiasi kiasi hivi you know unaanza kuvutwa vutwa kwa hizi pentecostal church hizi unajua hizi zenye wasio complain wasio wanapiga kelele usiku kama friday saa hizi kuna wengine wako na kesha hapa karibu na mtaani hapa yeah so yeah hivyo yeah. yeah, sasa but then attending a church service proper church service i think ya mwisho nili attend church service ilikuwa 2009 I haven't been to a church service since then no oh, okay okay yeah yeah, yeah. so jali- my Mm, yeah, yeah. God is mm. everywhere. So, so, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So um yeah, so I think that that's it. Um, I what, what we should not spend a could, could debate about it uh, with like the random people. Of course, when I debate about it with um say come uh Pastor T, yeah, yeah. cause he's known to be that. But now every random person I'd have to debate this with like a million a billion people because kila sosa how ni everyone believes they are the ones who are going to convince me otherwise now this exactly. same person who gimambia 
and who convince Muhindi in India that a cow is not holy. They'll be afraid. Yep. Rona. Yep. And Vilenkwansama God is geographical. So you have now the Indian who reveres ngombe, sindio? Like yeah. kuna kuanga mpaka na cow cow vigilantes. Unajua hivyo kuna wasi huenda yeah, yeah. gawana knock milango za wasi na wanafungua, wanaangalia kwa fridge yako kama uko na ngombe kula ngombe. Alafu waki wakipata na kula ngombe wanaenda kwa kikuchapa. Exactly. Like kuna take like they take like offensive. Hapa Kenya kuna uh, like buildings that if you end up uh ukipata apartment hapo ukwambiaga you have to be vegetarian. Exactly. Hata mimi maana nilikuwa nitafuta hao niliambiwa hivyo uwezi pata hao hapa kama we mlazi vegetarian. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Unaona cuz unati uh, sasa unashindwa umu hindi kwa nini uh wana fikiria ame make mistake kwa nini unafikiria ame make mistake na kwa nini unafikiria yako tulikuwa wasa wanaenda pia watch episode ya umse uboy ya anaitwa nani uboy sick he's sick s i k h uh, yes yes ama ama deep jagde ama deep jagde ni sick si ndio and mm. as six for example the the religion does not allow them to mutilate their body in any way So he's not allowed to put tattoos on his body mm. and he's not even also not allowed to get circumcised. So if he gets mm. circumcised that come go against the Sikh religion. Uh if you don't get circumcised you're going against the Islamic religion. Na cheke. Yeah. Christianity ni 50-50 because you have the yeah. Europeans who don't get, you have the Americans who get, you have the South Koreans who get. So at Christianity na kwa goal is flexible but mm. is ingine zina kwa strict kabisa like Islam you have to Sikh you don't have to so who's right the person who was born as sick uh, the other person was not so you know to nanaga like religion iko it's all over it's according to interpretation it's according to uh, the interpretation so that's, that's, that's of the man yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 so yeah so that's that that, that that's the reason uh, but eh uh, see when you go to the medical world eh? yes 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 so nini na happen uko you know the usual eh nilikuwa na chicken kam kwa mnataka ku strike ama kitu kai ama nisikia wapi maze ya tunataka ku strike tumekuwa tukisema tunataka ku strike siku mingi kwa sababu of this particular moment issue ni kuna so many medical doctors wako jobless mbaya sana watu wali graduate wakamaliza the internship they they are not getting hired and they are not getting hired kwa sababu the government inasema iko broke it can't hire any more doctors and mm. at the same mm. time the country is in dire need of doctors so kuna ngori ingine hapo mbaya sana tumekuwa na terrible leadership uh, in the healthcare system for a very long time kuna issues zile tunasema important issues that should be taken care of immediately but ona check mm. cs health and an allowance to wifi sijui kwa soko ama sijui an allowance wifi kwa dispensary unashanga how is this mm. supposed to help the people of Kenya watu hawana the right people to take care of them hakuna dawa husi and the mm. pay is poor so it's terrible at the same time uh, kuna vizingine fani uh, like white people doing white people liko na cheki tweet flani hapo uh, mm. about 48 hours ago kuna mother flani kule states alikuwa na tweet paka yake sijui litoka nje <laughs> ikashika sungura <laughs> Yeah. akona sungura ina dedi akamwa kupea sungura CPR unajua CPR ile mouth yeah. to mouth resuscitation yeah so unfortunately mm. eh, ame acquire this uh, terrible terrible bacterial infection from that wild rabbit ak hospital size akona severe pneumonia akona 8 yeah. liters of yeah 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 she's very sick she's she's extremely ill actually that is bordering on critically ill uh, akona wow. 8 liters of oxygen akon very expensive antibiotics sasa ameweka mm. hapo tweet watu wanamuuliza wewe bana namna gani why would you perform CPR on a wild rabbit and now the mm. unfortunate thing is this hiyo bacteria hiyo bacteria alipata from that rabbit is a very mm. potent pathogen tunaitanga Francisella tularensis that's the mm. scientific name this species name you can actually culture it and it has been used as a bio weapon from zile mm. times za uh, cold war na kwanga CDC na classify as a class A pathogen. 
So unashangaa yeah. maze jo mbona ufanye kitu kama hiyo men hivi ndio covid zilianza anga unasikia mtu alienda wet market gani maze akafanya nini yeah mm. so eh, that's the most interesting wow. thing nimeona in the medical world this week walami wanakuaga na za obvious sana tu because Kwanza, well, uh-huh. animals animals zinakuaga simple kama naikula naikula kama lakini kuanza kucheza cheza nao kwa sababu vile udishigi hizo juma medium rare exactly maze yeah. Yeah. Like the same thing tu unaweza shikwa na kibakteria fulani juu hiyo hiyo nini yao. Yeah, Kuna kunaka kuna live mode tuko tunaenda kudua hapa. Um uh, alafu mi mi uno just joagi kupika. Mwambie gambua ga honest na hata mwambie ga just joagi kupika. Jo mi ingekuwa wife ya pikagi ningekuwa na kufanja. So time wife wife alikuwa ame travel. So nikamwambia ia niaje. Ilikuwa ile siku tulifanya interview ya Matrix. Mm. Cuz Matrix tulifanya ga interview yake on Friday. So hiyo Friday tukaamua wacha tutoke tutembee tu hapa Masai tu za South Sea twende tutafute kuna place fulani na kuaga like Swahili joint twende tutafute dish hapo so vile tulifika hiyo Swahili joint nikaona wana choma nyama si ndio walikuwa na choma mm-hmm. goat mm-hmm. so kuna wana choma goat i don't know like something in my mind siko nime plan ku buy goat hiyo time but nikaambia kina Ian like hey si tuchukue hii goat alafu fit mtu yangu aka dismiss kwa like no no i don't want goat i want what so yeye tukam get ya kitu yake alafu mimi na Ian tukachukua mguu ya goat unajua ile big kabisa wacha tukuje nayo wacha tuikate hivi kuikata hivi tu tuko na tu red damu tu imemwagika come on man hiyo sasa unajua ingekuwa like in white man's land itakuwa like yes medium yeah. rare mimi media mrea ya yeah. yeah mimi na like after kuona ga mother kipika vitu kwa like ni kwa ngani ni numu numu eh yeah. mano numu eh yeah, kabisa yeah. yeah chakula jaiva hakuna jo tuliwaste your pesa cuz i think your school will spend 1200 shillings and we just oh, ended up wow. like hiyo nyama ilikuwa it was not even salvageable like even after i remember afterwards cuz ian alishindwa ku dish mimi nikashindwa so ile pieces zilibaki nikamwacha ni try kuziboil at least nione it was just horrible this is a horrible experience na eh yeah, uh, so mimi ushindwa how they enjoy that cuz unaanga kwa movies unaanga zile za like uh, wakikata hivi alafu wanafinya hivi na tuki red like this is still raw it and say you mm, sika godom ramzi unajua yupi kaka chakula ka hiyo yeah yeah Alafu now he's the best cook. Alafu unapata Africans wako hapo like oh I don't want to cook like Gordon Ramsay. No. Gordon Ramsay cooks like that for them and it's bad food and just cause he's Gordon Ramsay at fai at sisi kama wa Afrika tusiweze kusema this is bad food. This if food is jaiva. See Africa tunajoga chakula inakuwa game either imeiva ama haijaiva. Hakuna ga in between. Eh yeah, hakuna mm. ga in between. Mm. As you medium rare rare well done rare, ma- well done rare medium rare it's red mm-hmm. it's raw man it's raw na shanga yeah. unadishiaje kitu kama hii man yes ndio utapata na hizo bacteria hizo exactly man exactly mm-hmm. hiyo ndio issue hiyo ndio issue sasa kubwa sana baada sasa unajua au kiongeza hiyo and then he, he, you see uh, Caucasians wako na this thing where now watu wako pro animal kabisa pro animal yeah, yeah. so wild animal is a wild animal Uh, an animal mm-hmm. that's dead, dead and then watu wengine wanasema okay kuwa vegetarian if your life choice that's it sasa sasa kusema nao guys wenye wanakula nyama sijui they are animal murderers and stuff like that unafanya watu wanafanya upuzi kama kupea mouth to mouth kwa wild animal man uwezi fanya vitu kama hizo yeah, 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 was... uh, oh yeah uwezi yeah. man yeah. you story what need of it is wow you need story interesting sana huyo yeah, yeah. so yeah. haikumuuma ilikuwa tu like, that's bacteria was just passed yeah yeah yeah, yeah. you see now the problem with those wild animals most of them zina kuanga carrier say easy easy whatever easy pathogen so imechili tu hapo inangoja tu kutransmitiwa so mm-hmm. mtu mwenye ako susceptible ka human being ajazoea kubeba kitu kama hiyo au unainua yeah. haraka sana yeah. and then kwa sababu oh. ni kitu kingine iko highly transmissible ku move kwa mm-hmm. air ni haraka sana haraka sana that's why hata walikuwa wanaitumia kama bio weapon kitambo hiyo yeah. na ile bacillus anthracis pia anthrax inatumwa mm. kama bio weapon ni sababu ya hiyo vitu zinaweza songa teke teke eh like oh, una need hey. to like 10 organisms peke yake 
Unacheki kula kwa bakteria nyingine kama E. coli. Hiyo ndio upate uanze kuhara ama uanze kukojoa moto you need like about 10 raised to the power of 9 ingapi organisms when ndio msoadhafu. Mm. Yeah yeah yeah. Ati? That's uh, 10 raised to the power of 9. Those are the number of organisms you need. But you oh, need to kumi okay. peke yake. Eh eh eh. eh. Yeah. Oh, okay okay. Well, Damn. Yeah. You need it's 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 interesting vile nini mm. but wacha to hope wa melan kuzunjua yeah. walami ona kwa bana na za ovyo alafu pia kitu unikatia nao ni the fact that they want us to look at the world through their lenses that also gets That's... on my last nerve sometimes like exactly kasa hizi vile wamekaa mwaka mwaka kusema ati gender ni ni fluid lazima sasa now the whole world is a gender ni fluid na tusiposema wanaanza kutuletea ma sanctions juu ma nini yeah. ma mm. eh, so kuna kwa gana hizo but mimi usema kama chakula langu mimi ukinipatia choice ya medium rare ama chakula imechomeka mimi afadhali chakula imechomeka anachukia chakula imechomeka but I'd choose it over medium rare cuz at least naweza script yeah naweza script zile parts zime zime nini alafu ni yeah nibaki ni nini alafu kila nimeka mkunotis pia ni unapata uh, unaitwa nini like it come to kuchoma nyama the places where mua gonna feel at home kabisa ni areas za wasape eh wasape wanajua kuchoma nyama wasape wameiva kuchoma nyama man kuchoma nyama yani yeye yeah, wanakuwa gameiva hiyo story so i hata mpaka ni feel after kwenda hiyo place kuzi kwa aswahili joint eh mm, after mm. kwenda hiyo aswahili joint na kupata hiyo dish hivyo kuna kitu mpaka niko na na enjoy hiya na na niko naambia nikienda place yote niambo nyama choma na wanauliza jina ya chef <laughs> Nikisikia tu jina si exactly na tu. Atu ukisimleta hiyo nyama. Abdala unasema azie mtulia kwanza. Yeah. 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 Ungeona hiyo goat. Muda hiyo mguu ya goat ilikuwa inakaa poa. Tuliana kitu. Ije la rafiti sana ya. Yeah. Ni ilikuwa inakaa design nyingine. Alafu kwa ndani napata tu iko medium rare. Alafu ikanikumbusha kuna time kwa naishi ngara. Ukishasikia gani kisema kwa podcast yeah. eh? Yeah, so nikishingara yeah. nilikuwa naishi gi opposite kulikuwa na butchery flani ya whatsapp flani hiyo place ile nyama ilikuwa ga hapo alafu sasa advantage nilikuwa nao nilikuwa naishi like gate yangu iko hivi hapa mm-hmm. alafu una cross kusikuwa na like a main road hapo una cross tu barabara yeah. but ni main road ile ni 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 rusha pitia ga fig tree yeah najua fig tree fit yeah eh kuna nchi ya ya fig tree ile like ukifika fikiria alafu piga left niko na museum si ndio yes yes so miko naishi kwa hiyo njia so it's a very yeah. thin road but kuna mother na wanauza fruits hapa sasa miko naishi kwa building flani hapo inaitwa village plaza so aha say niko na shuka naambia ni aje nataka nyama alafu mkimaliza mnidungie nikam nichukue wa hakuna hata once niliyoishuka nikapata nyam, nyama choma hapo nikasema ijaiva ama nikakuwa na any stomach upset ama ni they used to know how to make their meat so but au niko sure wakiwe kwa na gondo uh, na gordon ramsay kila mtu anasema the gordon ramsay knows how to cook these guys can't cook and it's it's bullshit na utapata gordon ramsay anasema food yao sio fit exactly it's a lot of bull crap niyo standards yeah, man yeah. Yeah, vile umesema man niyo standards aso anatokianga mm, standards mm. zao anataka pia zitu kwa test standards zao una check sasa mm-hmm. ana kazi ya UG sababu ya hiyo bill museveni and his yeah, politicians yeah, yeah, yeah. in parliament past yeah, yeah. inakuanga hiyo na vile uko mm-hmm. nasema well, we as africans uh, tumekuwa at their mercy for so long na sioni kama hata there is a possibility tutatoka from mm-hmm. now their shackles tukiendelea hivi man kama ni kitu kingine man it's written that this should be they are for a very 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 long time because to elect mafala of course uh, mm, we are to their mm. mercy tunataka loans tunataka help here and there ndio hivyo yeah, yeah. ndio hivyo jo ndio mimi nasema kama unaweza cheza futa ujipata Saudi Arabia ndio utengeneza do yako bana usijali sio ati ati kwa cheza na wazungu uja cheza na the best cheza na wao vile nani hiyo naitanga jua kali utaka mafala cheza na wao mafala jitengeneza do <laughs> Tengeneza pesa. Like <laughs> tengeneza pesa ba. Cheza yeah. na mafala mm. kabisa. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, we try to yeah. imagine say easy. Vile Asian leagues are easy. Imepata say what eh? eh? What's going to happen to Olunga salary? If Olunga is still one of the top scorers kwa Champions League ya Asia. Unajua do yake inaenda yeah, ku double. Yeah. Cuz wasa Arabu at ah 
Eh Waarabu wa Saudi Arabia watakamwambeniaje Buddha? Tulisikia kuna ka 67 million karibu poteza huko Kenya ukibai land. Kuja utengenezaage mm. hiyo uh, like every week. Unajua yani wanakupatia offers nyingine ridiculous. Sasa wakwambie kuja utengenezaage like hiyo 67 million every month. Ah uh, ulunga taruka huko. Unajua? Si ndio hivyo. So, Uh, mm, mm. Evil, man if you can get that money get that money unajua most mm. of the people who are away, most of these footballers wanatoka nga wajaye yeah. toka kwa situations iko fit man unapata wewe ndio umekuona wewe ndio utaanzisha generational wealth na vitu kama hizo do it get yeah, that yeah. money man yeah, yeah yeah make make that money si ndio alafu na tukio money una make your brother make Mm, mm. Tevez, Tevez sorry eh, Tevez alikuwa anasema vile alienda China akatengeneza so much man watu walikuwa namuuliza mbona una sign China hata si ucheze South America hata their countries mm. in Spain which still want to sign you alikuwa anasema he had 62 family members that he had to build homes for watu yeah. wame, family yake imekuwa na poverty for a very very ni generation of poverty he had to take mm. care of his people and this was the opportunity going to build that wealth na ita kapo for a long time he had to go watu elewe yeah. situation ametoka unaelewa mm. mm. so that's about yeah. it man if you can make that money make that money and i hope at wa saudi wataona olunga because olunga is still young aja fika 30 so yeah ada mm. kaneza yeah, yeah and is a prolific goal scorer so akimbeba maze ni hivyo man yeah cuz what are the kwa champions league ya asia alifanyaje but eh, cuz Eh ulunga jo tengeneza pesa yako jo. Uh, hii story watu watu watakuwa pale. Hiyo ku... mm. so, ali... huku pesa ya land. Eh. Yote ni cheki hapa jo. Hiyo eh, hiyo pesa land but sina nafikiri gini kama walimrudishia ama kesi sijui kama walimrudishia but yeah eh, watu ni nani ulunga nominated for AFC Champions League something watu ni cheki. Um alikuwa nominated for something uh, for AMC Champions League team of the season eh yeah. so the Qatar League's top scorer was also nominated last season but eventually failed to get the slot yeah, so he came to Qatar yende alikuwa top scorer ah uh, uh-huh. alafu he came to Champions League yani ni sijui alifanyaje but eh yeah, sasa hizi vile atakuwa kipatana kwa kwa uwanja na kina nani akina Neymar ah uh, jina yake inaenda kwenda juu alafu inaweza msaidia kumekiwa do. Mhm. Inaweza kutengeneza pesa. Alafu kuna kuna mse hapa kwa comments ameuliza daktari anaweza tuchanua kama yeah. uh, mtu ameshindwa ku bedwet shida inaweza kuwa ni nini? Eh uh, betting bedwetting bedwetting inakuanga na courses mingi sana. Uh, mm. most especially tunaitanga nini noctiuresis kwa jua yeah. usiku mostly ya yeah. inakuanga na courses mingi sana so issue inakuanga psychological most of the time mm-hmm. uh, and then kuna dawa sa zingine wase upewa but tunasemanga with time uwe inaisha watu wana bed watu wengine bed wait mpaka wafike 25 watu wengine wanafika mm-hmm. 30 but then you know tunasemanga some psychological issues zinakuanga zina contribute sana kwa hiyo bedwetting sometimes mm. ni physiological issues itself sasa kama eh, kuna issues na you know eh, vile blood yako inajaa vile eh, block ya kwanza kule juu kojo kutoka kwa kidneys na block ya chini kiingia kwa urethra vile zina function unaelewa mm. inaweza leta hiyo bedwetting but eventually eh, uwa, uwa inaenda Wanase, watu wengine vitu zingine tunasemanga therapy therapy works like not just you know drug therapy uh, psychological mm, mm, therapy mm. watu wengine uenda therapy some exercises love bed waiting inapotea but oh. it's not something that watu wanafa wajieke stress sana i know uh, on someone's esteem inaweza kuweka mpeleka chini kiazi especially sasa mm. unacheki huku ukiambia msema ze jo umenyora kwa bed wasio atakucheka ama wasio amekfan so the psychological is kuangusha chini but it's something that disappears with the time i've seen people oh. bed yeah i've had you know that uh, niche have an issue with bed waiting until they are 
30 alafu ikapotea tu so mm. asiwe na pressure nani alikuwa na when niki nani anaitwa this famous footballer what was his name alikuwa na bed wet paka i think by the time alikuwa naenda inter milan kabla ingie barcelona ronaldo leaves mm. nazario for a very long time but you see at yeah. that time yeah that time he had a oh, lot of pressure kwa, yeah 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 pre 98 mm. world cup after 98 world cup it was a big issue mm. yeah yeah so yeah, alikuwa yeah. na kojo yeah, kwa kitanda alafu na yeah. watu kwa kwa uwanja kwa uwanja man yeah maze ilikuwa mm, issue mm. ilikuwa issue sana but unaona ilisha ikapotea but also hiyo hey, yeah. time alikuwa na pressure mingi because brazil ilikuwa na muona kama ende ataokolewa shinde world cup ya 98 that time mm, alikuwa mm. the youngest ballon d'or i think kabla nani akuja shinde ballon d'or uh, michael lowen so alikuwa na yeah, lot yeah. of pressure psychologically ili mu affecting sana hata wanasema ngaza the probably the main reason why he had a nervous breakdown kabla final 98 world cup na france oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ena chiki ati call plan hapo akisema juu yake alikuwa na mm. occasionally wet the bed. Oh. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. That's that's yeah. Yeah. Yeah, cuz pia unajua hii ana shaya mbaga wase hapa that at least struggle nayo sana. Yeah. Cuz uh, mm, mm, mimi nikiwa nikiwa primo kulikuwa na boy flani. Mm. Mm-hmm. Uh si tukiwa class 8 alikuwa class 7 alikuwa na bed wet alikuwa na bed wet sana. But eventually later in life tuka meet na yeye alikuwa mdosi place flani alikuwa iko na familia so na guess unajua hiyo lazima kuwe ili stop at some point yeah, exactly. ili, ili stop yep 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 but mm. wengi wame struggle na yeah yeah uh, ipia ipi, ipi meni imenikumbusha kitu moja nilisoma leo nilifind it interesting so hiyo story ilikuwa juu ya ati kwa nini si mkaga asubuhi kama tumenyonji kama boy yeah. ati yeah. apparently na kuaga juu unapataka kuna watu ni kuaga juu ni blada blada imeja yeah yeah Ajua so atikija yeah. waga hiyo mm-hmm. nini inakuwa like some mechanism that happens yeah. alafu pia ati madem the same thing happens to madem pia waga ati yes. nini yao inaja alafu yeah. asubuhi wanasikia so it's, it's interesting uki find the nature nature waga interesting sana and i think that's the yeah. reason why yeah. uh, vile kwa na bonga na wewe religion i think that's the reason why uh, pia mood is miss religion because your nature waga inafanya una appreciate vitu na but like oh this happens this happens jukana kuka kitu kingine kwa ina happen tukiwa to hii ni dogies kwa zina kuama alafu tunakasirika afu na kama una find out dogies zinafaa kukwama like that's how they are like nature naturally dogi zinafaa kukwama kwa zita imkwama ati dogi na kuaga dogi dogi waga horn twice mara mbili na hiya Sindio. So hii mara mbili yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, mara mbili hii dogi lazima imeke sure ime get pregnant. So inakuwa gaile time chali akishamaliza hiyo ndio ina lock. Hiyo ndio lock chali ndio get every single drop alafu sasa iachilie. Ah. Na cheki. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's why do that's why hizo kwa ma. That's why unapataka zikishamaliza zina turn. Cuz uh-huh. unajua ina five. This way this way, this way yeah inakuwa ga between 15 minutes to 45 minutes. Uh-huh. Wasika sisi na kuaga. Wewe hasa ngai ni dogi sio uji. Eh baso dafukuza na badogi bara dogi. Yeah. <laughs> dogi azina ngori. <laughs> Ye yeah, inakuwa gani ni whatever. Jukume dogi jos na that's how they are. That's nature. Yeah. yeah so that's that's nature. Pia, no, increase. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm, na ngwanda kwa mbeza pata mseme kwa maana waifu wako hapo mwambie she wanted every single drop. Ezabe, ezabe, jam. Azo kabla za obvious. <laughs> eh, Kenya unaona kabla so au leta sheets. Asana eh. una sheets. Alafu kamchawi kanatokea. Oh, oh, mimi ndio nimesema eh, eh, na ni ujinga unapata guy kwa na nothing to do na wao. Eh, so Yeah, so sasa unaona exactly tumesema a lot science so inafanya a lot of things that you know mm, religion mm. ikafanya tuka believe theories zingine tu blindly yeah, zina yeah. disapprove kabisa zina disapprove kabisa that's why I totally get guys who are atheist through and through kwa sababu science mm, explains mm. a lot of things yeah science explains a mm. lot of things ni kama hii yeah. hii unajua kwa nini mapaka huwa zinapiga kelele usiku Yeah, eh, paka eh, paka wazi na scream. Ukisikia mapaka zina scream usiku nikaa zina fight wazi na mate basically. 
Oh, yes. zimebambika so, mbaya. Eh, yeah, hizo zimebambika mbaya sana. Una kwanga female cats ndio zinapiga hiyo nduru. But sasa issue ina kuanga hii. The cat family hmm. the penis ina kuanga kama ina kuanga bab at the end. Iko na yeah. to sharp sharp areas oh. at the end. So hmm. saa zile inataka ku withdraw hivi ina 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 nini? Inararua ile nyingine. Yeye inararua maze eh, genital tract ya the female cat vibaya sana. Kwa maana hmm. wazi napiga nduru hivyo. Tambo oh. tukua tunajua kwanza watu maze jo paka zinapiga na usiku mbaya sana. But hiyo ndio hiyo ndio hiyo ndio story inaendelea na mapaka usiku. So science oh, so. explains a lot. Eh. Science oh, so explains a lot. Sema kapusika na baki na UTI. Eh maze kapusika meraruliwa hapo mbaya. <laughs> mbaya sana man. <laughs> literally and figuratively mazi yeah jo uh, mtu anashindwa jo kunaenda jo eh kuna kuna hizo vitu zile waga like very interesting zile ukilan juu ya juu ya nature yeah waga zina zina bamba sana juu kwa ku... storya hiyo storya wase kwa mkasubui kama wako na erection hiyo eh oh yeah yeah alafu unajua kitu moja nime notice buda jo ita yeah. imeota tumekuwa kibonga Yeah. Wasa nasikia tu sauti yako. Tu unajua siko nimekuweka nini hizo? Ah, uh, siko oh. nimekuweka. Hii kitu jo inafaa. Oh, screen. Yeah, jo. Kwani nimeweka. Sina na shindo. Kwa nini nini haija? Siku sinafaa kukua hapo automatically. I think so. Hii nini yangu jo? Kuna vile nashindwa nayo. Um Okay. Aya. Ama mimi ndio naona vitu zangu. Kwa siku hiyo wacha nitrai kukuangalia from hii nyingine siku. Nione kama unaonekana. Jini kinini gani? Cuz mostly nikibonga niki na mse anafaa kuwa automatically kutokea kwa kwa nini yangu jo. Oh, okay. Yeah, exactly. Eh, yeah. okay. Usikizo, nashindwa. Hii kitu nikai mehang. Hmm. What is happening? Ah. Ija ni fresh hata kidogo za. Can try ku drag zi, my drag. Wacha tuoneka maybe mtu mwingine akijoin itakubali ku nini? Aina no. Ah. Yeah, uh, itakubali ku nini? Eh, yeah. anasema haiko kwa kwa, kwa screen. Eh, yeah, is is a jo auto inafaa kwa automatically niki niki add to me hivi inafaa kukuja kwa screen. So, I don't know why did, that didn't happen. So, eh, yeah. so eh yeah. nini um Eh so yeah, yeah. so hiyo hiyo ndio nini yeah. animals zinakuwa interesting like ukilan juazo inakuwa like very interesting hizi zinafanyaga hivi zinafanya hivi humans uh-huh. pia sisi wenyewe uh-huh. uh, sisi wenyewe uh-huh. as humans inakuwa uh, interesting sana um, but alafu pia na na feel ni kama wa Afrika sisi tuko kwa ile tuko na ile shida ya tunataka kuwa kawa lami na tunataka kuwa kawa Afrika bado So na chiketa yeah, nini yeah. ukipataga sasa Kenya wasi wadosi kabisa. Utapata jo mse kama Jonjo. Jonjo ushaisikia kabla Jonjo alikuwa na inferiority complex eh? Mbaya sana. Mama alikuwa anataka white man vibaya sana. Yeah, ule unaweza pata ungeishia kwake jo ange kutengenezea tu medium rare. Jamme kuleta chakula hizo. Ah, ndio kusalwa alaka kutengeneza medium rare mbaya sana. <laughs> eh, jo, Jonjo alikuwa ga, alikuwa gani nini sana? Uh, Alfu hiyo uh, generation like walikuwa walikuwa brain washed yani design nyingine juu unapata kitu moja pili hapa ni gina hizo hizo siku ni hizo si ndio siku straight after colonialism ile ambayo god ready ni kitu mbaya na sumechiki mpaka wa leo sasa eh mpaka wa leo average yeah, the average african anachukia dreadi alafu yeah, unajua this yeah. is like african hair but yeah. mzungu aliwaambia ga kitu ni mbaya alafu after kuomba na mzungu kitu ni mbaya they just ended up like just like trade sisi mi kuna places mu waenda up to today yani naenda kuna chiki wochi wochi na niangalia zile nza mpaka na shindo buda ntaiba rungu yako ama ntaiba nini <laughs> ache kibat ni ile colonialism like umeka kitu imekuwa repeated kwako for so long cuz mau mau unajua bila walisumbua gawalami eh so, hey, hey, na alikuwa na trade mm kila mtu mlami ni nini hizo eh hey, unachiki pit a pit a ameishi na wala, walami mpaka anasema love medium rare pit a kauna kona love Amen. medium rare 
basi demu yako akimaliza kunyesha enda hapo chini tukuamini weka ulimi hapo chini sasa weka bana ulimi tukuamini jo kwa hiyo ni msua media mrea yani uko yeah. man wazungu walit condition on so many things that wa part of us zikafanywa zikakuwa tukaona ni vitu zingine that are not supposed to be part of us hiyo dread is yeah, a very yeah. good example unajua nikiwa mm. tukiingia med school eh, kuna boys alikam na dread man wakamwambia mm. anyoe maze mm. na umse amekuwa eh amekuwa alikuwa na hizo dread zake since he was 10 years wakamwambia maze atoe hizo dread uzuri man oh. aka eh ali ali alizisto Zi, uz, kabla zinyoya akapata scholarship kwenda Germany so akuzitoa oh. yeah, man yeah. lazi, eh man kozo lazima uike dread uh, medical school kwa sababu sisi okay the guys wali wali, wali the older people alifundishwa na walami and then mm. akafundisha the people uh, following them and then ikakuwa you know things that were passed down you know generations ya madaktari going through training Angwa anasema mazo lazima uvae tai. Kwa hiyo ni daktari lazima uvae a tai, a neck tie mevutwa mpaka juu uh, mm, with an mm. official shirt and pants. Madem pia unafova official. So mtu akikuwa na yeye daktari unava jeans anasema wewe bana mna gani wewe man. Uwe, eh, mimi eh. shaifukuzwa world teaching rounds sababu sikuwa na tai. Mara mingi eh. mwenye spend. Ya yeah, mazejo, nikamboa mazejo ishia home maze wewe. Uh, it, it, the words ilikuwa you, you don't seem to be serious enough to, to want to be a doctor so go home okay. so na checking ngori kama hizo man eh? ni vitu mm, mm. tumechukua kwa wazungu sana nataka kwa wazungu hiyo pre after okay after the white people left uh, your generation uh, say walipelekwa chuo alisoma time kama wazungu wako au ndo alianzisha hiyo upuzi wakaisukumachini mm, mm. wakaisukumachini na ndio anasema ngao hata ndio wana wa blame situation yetu iko as a country and africa in general situation yenye tuko hapo ni sababu ya hasa jula hasa walijaribu ku get keep sana wao yeah, wakasema yeah. wewe maze jo wewe ni msoa dread wewe uko serious wewe zikuwa kwa wewe tuwezi kupeleka shule wewe tuwezi sponsor wende shule wewe zipewa kazi hapa una cheki wewe uwezi mm. vata i know we can't work with you una cheki ah wenyewe wakaform click club yao and they got rich and rich and rich wakafinya se juli ukiangalia wasi wengi wanasema anga Kenya kuna watu family ziko na generational wealth ukiangalia generational wealth wanze kuifuata ilitoka wapi ilitoka hiyo mm. time tu yes 50s 50s hapo early 60s mid 60s paka ni seme 70s neme early 70s hapo hapo ndio ilianza kutoka but most of them mm. walikuwa na Uh, you know foundation ilikuwa laid you know at the dwindling times of colonial rule alafu mambo ikaribika from there na sisi mm. wo, most of the guys in africa wanataka tu tukwe kama wazungu ndio kwa maana tunapika nyama medium rare man mm? <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. tunataka kuwa kama wazungu alafu nani um, anaitwa nani An- anthony mwaura na kwa chef so nasema as long as the meat is treated so eh hey, uh, anthony mwaura pia i ile meat nyingine pia ikiwa treated i guess ah, <laughs> oh alafu na, naelewa anthony mwaura vile story yake like eh, <laughs> treated me unajua maju eh, let me use the united states as an example Ah mm, say mm. wanafanya nga um, what do they call they do a lot they do significant large scale animal farming so kama ni beef ni zile farms big big hizo nje wanasema zina contribute to global warming and you know stuff so most mm. of hizo nyama zinakuanga highly standardized from how it's slaughtered how it's treated package uh, distribution everything oh. so oh. Uh, kutres hata kama tuseme nyama ya kuku imepea mse salmonella tuseme San Diego California mm-hmm. na hiyo nyama ilikuwa package tuseme huko ni ujazi wanaweza wakaitres mpaka the factory yenye ilikuwa package so hii hata mazao ukipika medium rare maze jo iko sawa tu hizo parasites yeah, rare yeah. litazipata maze hapa kwetu maze jo ukipika maze pork medium rare hapa maze utapata tepu worms zingine maze mbaya Eh, there's a patient alikuwa anakula maze nini medium i think alikuwa kula medium rare or not very well cooked eh, pork hapo kiambu mm. maze alikuja kwetu maze usi kama mm. akona seizures mbaya sana 
Yeah. So tunamfanyia yeah 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 mbaya sana. So sasa anashanga ni meningitis because meningitis will give you seizures. Ni electrolyte imbalance sometimes mm-hmm. vitu kama sodium zikiwa chini unapata hizo seizures. Maze hakuna anything tunawaka pumsi hakuna anything. So tukafanya MRI scan ya brain. Maze alikuwa na eggs a tapeworm zimejaa kwa brain all over man. Oh. Hey, maze ni. Eh hey, maze. So meet hey, yako tu hapa. <laughs> Sorry. Yamea kwetu hapo wezi wezi jaribu medium rare man. Mm, mm. Yeah. Kus imenikumbusha story nilisikia leo ya kuna mother mother flani alipata warm ikam dish brain. Si 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 leo ulikuwa na bonga juu yake. Ah ah zio ni mwingine yeah. Like warm like ili mash brain. Acha acha nione jo. Nilisoma hiyo story like kuna mtu alinini warm flani ikam mash brain yake like uh, it was just crazy. Uh, yeah. I don't know niliona hiyo story wapi but ilikuwa like one of those scary stories like um okay I don't know, I don't know. Hey Winnie sasa Hi mafia je Niko poa wewe Niko poa tu Happy hey, Friday everybody Hey Kiswahili Eh lakini una move Una move mic yako sana Una move mic yako sana so kuna, move mic yako sana. So kuna... Oh, like let, me, let me take this thing off. Unasikia? Yeah, tunakusikia, tunakusikia. Okay. Eh, ngwasa maana una Kiswahili inaanza kuimprove eh? Eh, hey, may improve sana. I'm telling you guys, maybe it's because I was nervous uh, last time but Kiswahili ni like Kiswahili yangu ni mzuri like. Mm. See, I'm nervous again. Like I <laughs> ah, okay. It's a nerve thing, Siri. Like I, my Kiswahili is very good actually. It's getting better. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh okay okay. Oh alafu nini? Ah uh, nini? Uh, Brian Okello kuna Brian Geche wanakuuliza, "Wom sali survive? Wom sawathika?" Eh ali survive. Tu ali Na meza, aja chizi. Aja chizi. But alikuwa amechizi the first two weeks but ametulia mm. kofit ali tulimdischarge akiwa fit. But uh, yeah, mm. dawa for ah uh, six oh, weeks. Wow. Mm. Yeah, alafu yeah, akakuwa na... sawa. Eh hey, jo isa isa kwa muslim yote ule na watch jo mupenda gapok jo kinembe story ga ina nishtua jo mpaka niko like oh! eh hey, i can't eh hey, bisi wezi kula pok eh yeah, wezi kula pok i don't know something happened like over time is wezi kula pok even if like hakuna kitu ga mi nikianza ku rate nyama uh, i think swine so na chicken zitafaitia number one. mimi ni mjaka but watu wako like samaki hey, hey, wa Samaki wa like number nayo sama number what for me cuz number one for me is uh, either pork pork na chicken zitashikilia number one. Mm-hmm. Afu number t- uh, number three itakuwa ni goat meat. Uh, mm-hmm. after goat meat now tunaenda kwa fish sasa. Eh, eh. but mm-hmm. cuz fish pia lazima ikuwe like a specific fish so tilapia uh, mostly. Although nili mm-hmm. grow up na mbota. Eh mbota. Mbota kuna kula mbota. Eh, eh, eh. So uh, okay. Mm. Ata Ata? Mimi maze pork na chicken zina kuanga juu mbaya sana <laughs> but the Ata, thing... oh, sorry go on, go on, sorry. Really. yes yeah. no father but i can eat pork in kenya sausages mm. like i the way nikona roast sausage in kenya it's something mm. about the pork uku like even chicken uku is like they have all these things in it they taste they smell weird like even if you cook them hey, they, they you know they they dunga them with like all these medicines and things so It's not mm-hmm. the same. Yeah, yeah. Back home, back home as a cool up Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Alafu yeah. nini, doctor what's the best long term remedy for someone who gastritis? Okay. Gastro. Free consultancy. Free consultancy. I, I... <laughs> <laughs> gastritis. Gastritis uh, is gastritis the causes of gastritis zina kuanga mingi sana mob sana most of mm. the time unapata uh, issue uh, na gastritis mostly uh, ukipata ni diet and uh, mm. a specific bacteria tunaitanga helicobacter pylori helicobacter mm. pylori unfortunately is a very common bacteria inakuanga kwa fruits and vegetables mtani every wakati umekula ume buy sukuma kwa madhe ama uka buy fruits kwa madhe there's a possibility whatever eight out of uh, there's a there's a uh, two out of 10 chance utakuwa umemza hiyo helicobacter pylori so hiyo inaletanga gastritis sana 
now mm. uh, number two, the diet na hyper acidity mm. if you are producing way too much acid eventually it corrode coro- gastritis na manisha to the stomach pouch itself iko inflamed na vitu mingi zinaweza fanya iko inflamed so if you want to treat it you have to find the cause if it's hyperacidity mm-hmm. suppress yeah. the acid production uh, if it's the diet you have to change a couple of things you are eating watu wanakunywa kahawa mingi sana it's terrible uh, if you have eh, gastritis eh, yeah, no. eh. Yeah, what wanna what wanna fanya ni what Even wanna soda? Pula. Yes, exactly. Soda Thank you very especially much. like Yeah, 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 yeah. Beverages those carbonated all, things. Carbonated beverages are terrible. Extremely mm-hmm. spicy foods and you eat pia sasa. Yeah. Uh wale wa say sasa mazeje wako na the bacteria itself you can suppress the acid for so long but unapata symptoms hakuna pale zinaenda. So you have to kill mm. the bacteria uh it's a therapy that takes about uh, 14 to 21 days and then mambo inakuwa sawa and then you change a couple of things food hygiene is a big problem in the city hapa nairobi so mm-hmm. unapata wasi wengi wako na hiyo issue another thing new uh, weight loss mm-hmm. well, if uh, you are overweight or medically obese it can also be a big problem so kunyonga weight kiasi huwa inasaidia sana Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. And then okay. you have to go to a doctor who totally understands it. Unfortunately, mm. uh, tunasemanga nasemanga mimi this is my opinion. Specifically specialist consultation is usually expensive for the ordinary mwananchi. Tunamanga the ordinary mwananchi exactly. So ukipata gastroenterologist who specifically deals with issues with the gastroenterology. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bran, I'm a, I'm a freeze. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, but yeah. he's right. Oh, Amanda. Okay, yeah. Third world internet, Joey. Me. Kuna mm-hmm. alafu kuna. It's actually hey, dropping knowledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How can kuna... I compete with that? <laughs> mm, <laughs> How mm. Yeah, what's going oh, alafu kuna kuna msana ni enjoy team wafu tuko na video zako YouTube maximize win. I don't try to maximize win basi. Win umesikia leo? Ati maximize. You can do that. Wow, my nerve. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. So I figured it out. So kitu kwa na happen ni uh-huh. when I started the show kulikuwa uh-huh. na like uh I could see the background. So what I ended up doing was I ended up touching some maximizing button. So when I touched that it ended up now making everything else disappear but na check pia daktar amerudi so what i'm trying to make sure that we maximize plan so i know you'd probably figure it out fast yeah so 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 no no like it's i mean me push you to the corner what i'm trying to make sure that to me to on oh okay oh, yeah. yeah is that better oh, yeah it's fine it's better. fine Eh yeah, eh yeah, lakini sasa in 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 expose third world internet unaona vile bravo tu muone jo bravo jo yeah third world internet atkuoni jo tikile we ni uko clear mpaka tunaweza I... yeah we ni sasa nikipita na wewe kwa street na kujua sasa iko nene ona your difference man ona your difference Yeah, yeah, alafu kabla ni sahau acha acha ni gote wase kadha acha ni gote Amir Muhammad Amir Muhammad alikuwa sema you don't know how addictive this podcast is until you find yourself listening to these guys anytime you drive wazi wazi rapta ian and more hiyo ni Amir Muhammad asante sana for the super chat alafu pia nani Matt Masha pia asante for the super chat yeah 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 Uh, alafu uh, na chiki na enjoy hapa kama rapta is watching rapta inshallah la rapta wa gani raya kulala mapema kuja next friday jo as it is e e e raptor kilena happen um so jo i think ni shambia ga say kuna vile ngo try to get like a space specifically for the podcast eh? uh-huh. so what ended up happening is i was like uh, we started going around nairobi and siko baya but if you ever go around nairobi looking for 
a place that's not ugly how to ipata like beautiful <laughs> what <laughs> hey, excuse me like beautiful apartments some beautiful spaces are very oh, expensive okay, okay then yeah. the spaces that are normal price are so ugly paka unaweza muuliza nipatie jina architect niende nimpige Kenya unapataga mse ametengeneza kuna wall tu iko tu does nothing uh, the wall is there yeah, yeah. Like, so the venue is the issue right now yeah, yeah so now the issue was like do we want to go to a space that we won't enjoy ama do we just cuz now i had two choices uh, so nilikuwa na inaangalia hivi if i can get a space close to the place iko where either uh, if the place is small the podcast moves sindio if the place is big my family moves the podcast stays so there was that i'm a get a big space where i can turn one room into a podcast space so that was the idea mpaka tukapata place flani west it was perfect and then last minute someone paid before cc so there was that where by the time they were showing us some guy who'd come two weeks before and had not paid paid on that day but oh, wow. apart from that this place has so many ugly places up Kenya mean ashindwa like how architects some architects just need to be beaten and you know how ukoshua you draw something better and you've never stepped into an architectural <laughs> yeah so yeah, that's, that's the modern problem. homes coming up there i'm looking looking the modern houses look nice in Kenya yeah especially like the somali neighborhoods like oh, now wow, i haven't seen those ones yet like south sea right now and isili have like some of the best apartments but now you have mm-hmm. to pay somali prices cuz somalis are ready to spend so yeah. and there's demand <laughs> there's demand for like somali apartments eh? so yeah. apartments somali owned prices. by somalis mm-hmm. Shona, they are very yep. beautiful and very expensive mm-hmm. very so oh, they are wow. very mm-hmm. modern like they are you'd think you are somewhere in new york or somewhere in yeah. um, rotterdam is the I hear Rotterdam in Netherlands is the like the the headquarters of architecture. So you'd think you're in Rotterdam, but now the oh, prices wow. the prices are also in Rotterdam. Yeah, because <laughs> the way yeah. Somalis they like all those colors mingi mingi and they like looking like palaces. So I can imagine they're very beautiful. No, no, that's the funny thing. Like, you have Oh, they're actually doing the actual yeah. standard modern yeah. way. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Mm, mm, like they like they've super. gone the mm. Mm, mm, mm. The modern oh, wow. apartments, modern architecture. You have the Arabic ones, but the Arabic ones yeah. have always been there. But mm-hmm. now me I'm not talking about the Arabic apartments. I'm just talking about the ones that just big windows, uh spacious, oh, light, beautiful. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Those ones oh, wow. like Somalis are doing uh like great things. I like, saw that mall to... they build. Eh? Yeah, they're moving. Yeah. They're small some. Yeah. Yeah, half of their malls na just na just si kama hizi malls zetu si tutengenezaga malls na shindwa tengeneza mall gani hapa. Hizo zinakuanga mandi na semanga zinakuanga money laundering projects man. Kwa sababu hakuna vile unaweza ukaunda mall maze na iko empty 80% of the time maze unashanga hizi nini. Eh eh mtu anashindagwa nayo like in in gani. Anthony Mwaura asante sana for the super chat. Um eh mimi ndio kesho na fako na travel. Jo kesho naisha Masaiza TZ. So oh, yeah. part of the yellow fever vaccine like um so I was supposed to go for it today so come say hotel ile yellow fever uh, apparently if you want to get it the easiest place to get it is at any airport so you don't have to be traveling outside but if you find yourself at maybe JKIA you can just ask where to get the yellow fever vaccine uh we say pata pia Eldoret airport we say pata Zagavania around 2500 Mozaipata uh, wapi tena uh, Wilson so me naishi Arusha but na travel na shuttle so apparently kuna na shuttle hapo kwa border haiko hakuna yellow fever side ya Kenya kuna yellow fever side ya TZ and Tanzanians are super corrupt unajua ni kitu watu wajuagi Tanzanians are more corrupt than Kenyans that and no that's so hard to even fathom but Tanzania so kesho yeah. i'm just expecting drama cuz i wanted to take the vaccine today <laughs> But now mtoi wangu mm. aja take the vaccine and I know she's going to be screaming so now she needs to see me take the vaccine so that she can take the vaccine and uh, so but Wait, uh, if your wife is from TZ I'm just close. Uh f- f- half like her mom is Tanzanian her dad is uh-huh. Kosterian like her dad is Giriama. So 
Oh, yeah, yes, hey, I was trying to keep up with her Swahili. Where I've been trying to so, <laughs> yes, it's like I said, like when you when I go for the family meetings, it intimidates me. Ooh, it's too much because they speak that pure Swahili. That because even mm. like on a random day, she come home. Yeah, never use she come on a random day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have a TZ like customer that used to come to my job and he used to just, hey, I'm like, wow. And I used to be so proud. I'm, I'm, I'm from Kenya, so you know. I could tell he looked kind of Kenya. I was like, I'm from Kenya. He started talking. I was like, wow. Yeah, you mm. Like, I, I I, couldn't. I was just like, oh, maybe. <laughs> yeah, he was yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, it sounded like I was talking to Diamond. Like, now that I think about it, it's just the way Diamond talks. And it's just like, wow. I couldn't mm. keep up. Mm. I didn't know what he was talking about. But I was just like, yeah, Cindy, Cindy. Like, I'm trying to enter my Swahili there. My <laughs> job, which <laughs> it was, no, it no. was embarrassing. Ah. Mm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, like, I was like, what? And the guy was just talking. I'm like, you can understand. I'm like, I'm trying, but. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know, um, yeah, so, question of a kushiati said, atakuana, like, it's been long since I went, I went there. Uh, cause I remember, like, the last time I went to, to TZ, that's when they were like uh building the road your road the uh, arusha right now here it's super smooth but now mm-hmm. the border it's the border is the most annoying part because of the tanzanian officials tanzanian officials are just assholes i love their assholes to kenyans because uh so they have i feel like they have low inferiority complex so i've created a ringa yeah, 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 yeah. That, I yeah, think yeah. they do. Mm-hmm. So now even the most fucked up thing is I can't even carry the equipment because now I do have wanted to go and do like podcasts there. Exactly. But now kupita, kupita na equipment up kwa border, it's a story. Because while it's like we be a caribou ibe laptop yanani, ya Otile Brown. And that's Otile. What? Holy hey. shit. Yeah. Yeah, Utila Lipita try to put in a laptop. I remember he tweeted about it. They tried to steal his laptop. Like, you're like, what? Hey, That's Utile, man. So, me, 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 yeah, yeah. maybe so, you on the live called Instagram or something like that. But uh, uh, Sidani, like it's not the same thing because podcast yeah, yeah. is like a whole production. So mm-hmm. Sidani is going, it's not going to be the same feeling. Plus, so, yeah. plus now I can record without the professional microphones because that's another thing now. Like I, mm-hmm. I even tried to look for like my microphone because I had bought like this wireless microphones. The Wagazini Mono. So people who have a like, headphone, I don't know. It's, it's only one side. Mm. But I mm. somehow I misplaced them. So I think it's just the universe telling me it's time to just go relax. Because they relax for long. So hey, is that what I say? Because I could have gone on a content. Because like Bakalini. your show, uh, Nenda Kesho Narudi Tuesday. Nenda Kesho Narudi Tuesday. So of course the weekend update to share record na rapture. But you've upload. been dropping. Like I'm trying to keep up with the hell on with this. You've been dropping back to back. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, so we can update to the record now na rapture because uh, nani akua. Yeah, na akua, but yeah, apart from that, so I hope you enjoy place yene. But I'm uh, sure to get stories along the way because Kilwasa wa juu itizedo na kuwaga full of ish. Yani. Like, eh, na kuga kuna time vile niliendaga, the last time nilishia to list up show kwa gari wakaiti, wakanza kuitisha fire extinguisher. Fire extinguisher? Yeah, na lazima ukuwe nao, TZ. Like, yeah. so it's done. You wanna drive Gary? You mean get his head below fire extinguisher? I'm a follower. We're gonna, we're gonna eat shabu to zingine za jabu sana. So, I prefer. Kuna zile vitu zinafanya ga. You prefer Kenya at the end of the day. Like it's, it's the, the bullshit. Yeah, nene. Hmm. Kwan. Every time na skianga mtu ame travel through TZ and is Kenyan mm. wana semanga tuwa se wana walete anga mashida zingine hawa ele. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. The Manu... traffic cops. Mm, mm. Mm. Wana kuwa gana za wana kuwa gana za obvio sana. So, but it, it, it kuwa interesting because pia uh, I just want to go experience now the culture again now as a podcaster. So I'm sure there are things I'm going to notice that I didn't notice before. Uh, so, yeah, that, that's going to be the, the interesting part. But, hey, nafaa kuishia tizeda subui. Mm. Think your shuttle in a toka sambilia subui so yeah, yeah so 
looking forward to kuiona vile ita, mm. itakuwa but eh cuz the last time nilikuwa huko ilikuwa ilikuwa kitambo i think what 20 when was it 2015 i think mm. almost yeah, almost yeah. 10 years 8 years huh? yeah Yeah, 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 mm. yeah, that's why nini yangu ik expire cuz i think uh, yellow fever yangu ya TZ nilichukua 2007 so ik expire 2017 na check yeah, last time yeah, in london yeah. last time in london 2015 so now you have to take have to take another one ni end up nime nime check vile kuta vile kutaishia just yeah so inaka wewe ni na wife eh yeah. yeah, na she na wife na mtoi uh, cuz wow. mtoi yuko yuko which is it called using which route the namanga route um mtoi yeah. yuko ni inaitwa nini size si wako holiday size mtoi yeah 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 of course yeah, holiday yeah. sagas too mm. yeah. i love wife you can leave so au wakikuwa hapo mimi na jua ni mtu hiyo time it means nothing i can just chill <laughs> like chill too but madam nikawa napenda ng'a ku experience things unajua yep. hawana kwa yeah. Ako got to fault na sisi si ni za ka to me as long as nime experience as eno likishinda jo sina tuko sawa tu basi eh jo si si that did ako got na pressure mingi so nime set link hapo tena kwa mtu anataka ku join i think we can do this for maybe another 21 minutes ikifika okay. two even back in mesha place ni to kaji yeah so before hapo eh wasaone kaone za to join um atuambie ni aje